and ask for heaven. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Viv's Vibe. Today we are in Hawaii on the island of Oahu. We are currently on the North Shore. We are going to head to a uh, trail today. So, some more trail tourism. Woohoo! I'm not so sure how runnable this trail is going to be. It seems like it's pretty difficult and there's some ropes apparently, but that's what we're going to go find out. We're going to go do this trail and I will let y'all know. Alrighty, we have arrived at the trailhead. It is in somebody's neighborhood, kind of right next to a mailbox. And it looks like it's no joke. I'm not sure how much running we're actually gonna be doing. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. We just go straight down. This is something. It I like is. This tree. Oh, gotta <laughs> the tree. Yeah. It's a full body hike. It is. Yeah. It's kind of like a Disney. Oh yeah. <laughs> the set of Jumanji. Wow. Yeah. It just. <laughs> We're three back in Columbia, y'all. Oh, here we go. There's a bunch of rocks. This is, I don't really trust this a lot, but it's here. This is crazy, y'all. This is why there's only two, oh, one other car at the trailhead. We're like, oh, we might not get a spot. Mm. <laughs> As we walked on, the trail was quite wet and muddy. However, this was just the beginning. We had no idea what was in store for us. We followed the pink and orange ribbons. They marked the trail pretty often, and I also checked up on my map from all trails as well. That's ginger. I was really curious. Oh, here we go, waterfall. We checked off the first waterfall and moved on, hoping to take a dip in the next one we came across. I can confirm, the water is chilly. Chilly Willy indeed. Refreshing though. This was about when we stopped following the pipes and started climbing up the ropes. Oh, there's more waterfalls. So here we are. We're about to go up to the crater. There's a lot of topo lines. Yeah, so this is waterfall number three. We're crossing over the stream to it, and then we're gonna head basically straight up. Remember those topographic lines I talked about? Pretty sure it's just like this, straight up. Good stuff, good stuff. Here we go. The white moss is extremely slippery. Just climb pretty quick. There are very small paracord lines up here that aren't probably going to help, but 
this. Not wonderful, but I guess. So we saw this trail when we were over there. Um, and we were like, oh no, that can't be the trail, it's too steep. It's the trail. It's not as bad as it looks from the other side. There's small footholds and stuff. I got mud in my butthole. I got mud in my butthole. <laughs> I see some fingernails in here and I wonder why. <laughs> but the view, y'all. That's killer. Woo! Mom's taking the full on burn approach. Whatever approach you like. <laughs> that did not work. Okay. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> There's Kai's mom. Oh. <laughs> How about I lead the way for a yeah. second? <laughs> Filming instead of helping. Okay. Woo! I'm like fully on my hands and knees. I need to put sliding. <laughs> that I mentioned, not runnable. Really no part of this trail has been runnable. <laughs> Most people go to the spa in Hawaii. Maybe the beach and swim with the turtles. Yeah. Drinking their Mai Tais. Drinking a coconut. Coconut, pineapple. <laughs> we choose this hike. to be marked with pink and orange ribbons so we continue to follow. Bridge? Other side of bridge. Don't trip. This is where the ridge line hiking began as we made our way around the crater. Some parts were more exposed than others, but they all had an incredible view of the crater and the city below. Though we made it to a new section of the trail, it didn't mean that it was less muddy or slick. We made it to the top of our brutal, muddy climb, and the wind began to pick up.
right off the ridge like this and blows on up. Ah, uh, what a nice break. Yeah. Overall, I'd say this is a fun hike. It is hard. Um, it is, the reviews are pretty accurate on that. Um, we have probably a mile or so left to go. We're gonna do some of the same trail out and then we'll just finish on the ridge line back to the parking lot and connect back in with where we started. Um, yeah. Got it waited till now to rain. Other than when we were on the ridge. And we made it. Back to the start, the mailbox, and the trailhead. Gonna be the whole, the whole trail, just like that. No joke. We made our way out of the neighborhood and towards some food. The food was good, but the coffee was just okay. It was more about convenience than anything. All right, so we got ourselves a five minute drive straight down this road to North Shore Grinds, and that's where we're gonna eat some dinner, dinner. Um, we had a little snackage on the trail, but this looks like it's some local Hawaiian food mixed with also like home cooked meatloaf. Should be interesting. <laughs> Acai bowls here too. Okay, so we went to the coffee shop and the other place. It smells really good. Just the coffee lady, like, be careful when you go there because she will talk for a long time. Wow, this is a lot of food. Oh, you got macaroni salad. I did get macaroni salad. Oh, so you if anybody wants food. macaroni salad, macaroni let salad. me know. Um, teriyaki chicken and teriyaki. It's just like macaroni and mayonnaise. This is a Hawaiian. Yeah, but no, this is something that is very Hawaiian. Mm. Yay, man. Oh, it's so good. What'd you get? I got grilled mahi salad. What'd you get, Con? Yep. The garlic uh, uh, crusted mahi. If you're staying on the North Shore like we were, I'd be more likely to recommend the food truck park or the Sunrise Shack for coffee. But we were actually on the opposite side of the island, so it worked out for us to stop here at North Shore Grinds. We were up there. Thank y'all so much for joining. If you like this video, if it was helpful, if it was entertaining, please like it down below and subscribe to my channel. I will see y'all later and happy trails!